So how are you going to try to wrap all of the extreme weather in the U.S. into one number? That's enough to make a grown man cry. And the Climate Extremes Index is one number in several components that tries to describe how often and how much of the U.S. is dealing with extreme weather over time. And organizing all of those extremes into one index is a challenge. So how do you do that? Well, you start by cutting it up into components. You've got drought. You've got precipitation. You've got extreme temperature. You've got tropical storms. And you can begin to construct an index for each one of those. So if you think about any one of those components, let's use temperature. And let's say we're thinking about Philadelphia. We take Philadelphia's temperature record for a given month, say July in Philadelphia, and we sort and line them up from the coolest July they've experienced to the warmest July they've experienced. And let's say we put that on a football field from goal line to goal line. And what the Climate Extremes Index is it only counts those observations that occur within the 10-yard line. It just hits on these extremes. And so for Philadelphia, you can look at its record and you can ask, when did these extremes occur? Are most of the warm extremes in recent decades? You get an idea of how those extremes are evolving over time. And once you've done with Philadelphia, then you build in neighboring cities, then you build out across the country, and before you know it, you have one for temperature, one for precipitation, one for drought, one for tropical storms, and several others to come up with a component index of climate extremes. And the reason you track climate extremes, it isn't just for curiosity's sake. Just like in a football game, when you get close to the goal line, important consequential things happen. When you start playing around in the extreme behavior of climate, that's when big decisions need to be made. That Climate Extremes Index tries to capture that.